morning. It's Monday morning again. Good to see you. Today is the Monday before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, as like everything else, will be different this year. And many have expressed disappointment or grief in what they won't be able to do and have at Thanksgiving. I would like to invite you to have a different mindset. And I want to share a few things with you this morning about gratitude. <clears throat> when before COVID, I did jail ministry here in Sangamon County. And that was the most profound thing I've done in a while. But at the jail one night, we were doing a Bible study. I don't even remember the topic, but gratitude and blessings came up. And this one woman had um had just a brilliant offering she said that she had started uh listing her blessings she was feeling really down one day so she was sitting there and just started to write out the things that were good for her that uh were a blessing in her life and she said that she quit after three pages now think about that for a minute. And when she told me this, she said, listen, I'm a junkie sitting here in jail and I found three pages of things I am grateful for. And I could have gone on. So that, that really got me. That really, really struck me that if there is nothing in life that we can find as a blessing or to be grateful for, then we need to reach out. We need to reach out to somebody. But secondly, if we just spend time, take a breath, get past the way we want things to be, and just start chronicling the way that we are blessed, that we have been gifted, that we are thankful for, I think you'll notice a profound difference in your day, in your life, in your heart, so that's my invitation to you this week. Take some time in this week of giving thanks and just start making a list. Just sit down, spend 10 minutes. We all have 10 minutes. Take 10 minutes and just start writing out things you're grateful for, things that are a blessing in your life. And big or small, it doesn't matter. It can be, um, I tell you what, I have this lip balm that is, I love. So that goes on my gratitude list. I also have a lot of other more profound things, but but start there. Start with the little things that you really, really are grateful for. And you would be amazed at how prolific you get in your blessings. So I invite you to do that this week. And then I also want to give you three tips for living a life of gratitude. And one of these things I noticed <clears throat> when um, when I was reading the scripture yesterday in church, anytime Paul wrote to the churches, whether it's the letter to the Ephesians or Philippians or what have you, he always begins with prayer and gratitude. Why he is thankful for their faith, for knowing them, for their partnership, how big a difference would that make in somebody's life if when you greeted them, you told them why you appreciate them? But that could be an amazing thing people know about you. Well, you know, can you imagine people say, I love what I love about her or him is that they always share their appreciation. I mean, that's a really simple thing that we can do. And it matters in here. It will change us as well. Because, and this is my second point here, we are what we eat, according to dietitians. And if we're interested in developing our physical health, we have to be mindful of the food that we give it, the nourishment we give it. The same is true for our spiritual lives. 
we are what we feed our souls. So what are you feeding your souls? And as a biologist, I've done a lot of research in the area of neurobiology lately and glial cells. Well, I haven't done the research. I have read the research of those who have done it. I don't have a lab here in my house. But it's really exciting stuff that they are that they are uh, are coming to realize that these cells in our brains are called glial cells. And I know people in my church have heard this a thousand times, but just stick with me. But these glial cells, they're responsible for holding our brains together. But also when we sleep, they clean things up. They're like little Roombas that go around in our mind and sweep out all of the garbage and leave the good stuff. And here's the interesting part. They know what the good stuff is by the amount of neural connections that are made. How do we make neural connections, you ask? It's this time we spend thinking on things. For instance, if you're trying to memorize a list, one tactic we might use is to repeat it to ourselves a few times in our head, trying to make those connections in our mind to solidify that in our thoughts. That is how it's done. So what are you thinking on? Are you thinking on all the stuff that you're missing out on? Are you thinking about grief and despair of what you don't have this Thanksgiving and this holiday season? Focus on gratitude. Focus on gratitude. Get your minds on Jesus. Get your minds on those things that will fill you and make you into the person you want to be because we are what we think. Feed your soul the good, healthy stuff. So, so far, one, show appreciation to other people whenever you see them. And it doesn't have to be a 10 minute speech. It can be just a simple, a simple statement. I appreciate how you always include people in your activities. You know, it's simple. Just find something to share with folks. Show how you appreciate them. The second, okay, let me get in the screen here. The second is to be mindful on what goes into your soul, into your spirit. Get your minds on Jesus. Get your minds on those things that build up. Gratitude is a terrific way to do that. Focus on blessings and you will be amazed at how that changes you. In our family, when we sit down for dinner in the evenings, we each share three things that we are grateful for throughout the day. Three good things about our day. And even on crummy days, we're still able to find three things that we are grateful for. Some people like to journal. Whatever your, whatever your deal is, do it. You do you. Be, use the practices that will speak to you. And then finally, find a way to give back. And this can be, we know all of the big ways. We know we can volunteer places. And, you know, COVID has an effect on what we can do right now for sure. Um, contact your local jail or a prison nearby, ask to be connected to their prison ministry team. They might need Bibles. They might need something. For, you know, we use communion. We have little communion sets and Bibles when we're able to do our ministry in the jail. And it's always, a, are we going to have enough to buy what we need? Because we like to share Bibles with any of the inmates who want them. That's another way you can give back. Or keep it local. We're separated this year and the way that we can communicate with each other and our family and loved ones is through technology. Do you know someone who doesn't know how to set up the technology to communicate with their family? Go over and help them. And with permission and with the COVID uh, practices, you know, be safe about it. But those are little ways that we can give back. It doesn't always require money on our part. We have things that we're good at and we can help others with it. And this year, if your community has a, a giving tree, an angel tree, a Santa's elves tree, you know, help out there. If you can't buy gifts to share, 
volunteer time to wrap the presents. But you will find that as you cultivate these habits in your life, they begin to change you and mold you. And those are ways that we encounter God. Those are ways that we grow our souls and our spirits. And I want that for you. I want that for you. I want this holiday season that we are looking at with less than great anticipation. I want this to be the best holiday season ever for you. And that can happen if you're working on yourself in here. So practice gratitude, friends, and shoot me a comment down below. Let me know what you what speaks to you or how you're going to pay this forward. But I hope you have a blessed and grateful week. So if this has been a blessing to you, share it with someone who may also be blessed by this. And as always, I will see you next week. Bye for now.